Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a really cool uh, piece of Zoho that I haven't talked about at all, and it's called Client Script. So it's a newer feature in Zoho. It has a bunch of applications in the real world. And although I'm not a developer, I'm not gonna go through actually coding today, but I'm gonna walk through kind of a hypothetical scenario and teach you what it is. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a client script, what it actually entails and how it'll affect your business. And then some next steps, how you could find people that could help you build one. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. I know it's been a little while since the last video, but we, we, we would love you to join our office hours. Our office hours are a great time for you to come and meet me, talk about all of the Zoho applications, learn about some of the things we do, some of the applications we have, and we've got a lot of really exciting things coming out very soon. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. So like I said, it's gonna be more hypothetical. I'm not actually gonna code things today. If you guys really like this video, please let me know and I'll have one of our developers actually code something so you can see. Client scripts, it's in the settings of the CRM. So you can see here, you can hit the settings icon and then you're brought back here. And it's down here under the developer space. So here it is. Now, before I get into building it and how it looks, let me walk you through a scenario that you may have had. In Zoho currently without client scripts, let's say you have a workflow rule that runs code. For example, let's say that whenever you create a client and you're typing in their zip code or their postal code, or for example, you're typing in their address and you want their postal code to autofill. Right now in Zoho, you have to type in their street, type in their city, hit save, refresh, and the code will run and it'll bring in the zip code if you wrote code. The really neat thing about client script is now as you're typing, it can run code and go grab the zip code. Or as you're typing, it can run code and have a pop-up come up. It can invoke a widget. Basically, the idea behind client scripts is it can run as you're doing things in the CRM. And other applications in Zoho have had things similar to this, but the CRM has never had this. And so you can see how they explain it here. Start defining highly interactive and responsive interfaces using script. It runs seamlessly on all browsers and it can use APIs, CRM APIs, other APIs. And so this starts becoming very powerful for high volume places that need things to run as they're typing, needs things to run as they're loading. No more refreshing, no more saving. It's a really, really powerful idea. And so when you hit create new client script, it's gonna ask you for a few things. So you gotta name it something. So hello, YouTube script, you can put a description. Right now it's supported for modules. Then you, it, it basically says, where do you want this script to run? So on the create page, that's before you hit save. On the create page of a wizard, that's I've covered that in other videos, we'll link it here. Create or, or the detail page of a canvas. So that means as you're working in a canvas, you're not actually editing the record. Maybe you're editing one field, that's the detail page. The clone page, the edit page in general, so this is outside of canvas, or the edit page in a wizard. So probably the most popular ones are the create, edit, and detail. So for example, when you're creating a record, the script can run on a particular field, and you'll see that in a second. Or if you're editing a record, so it's already been created and you're just coming back and editing it, the script can run. So let's do it on the create page, and then it says what module. So I'll do deals. It might be called opportunities or something in your CRM. It says what layout, and then it says what event do you want it to trigger. So do you want to trigger it on a page event, on load, on change, on save? So anytime you save the page or when it just loads up, do you want the code to run? So every time like if you leave the record, come back, it loads or something on the record changes, right? Or just on save, or you can do it on a particular field. So the use case here would be, okay, anytime one of my staff edit this one field, I want an API to run as they're editing it, go grab data from external and update the file. And it's all live like real time. You don't have to wait for anything. Right. I would say uh, this is a pretty popular one. And so maybe I'll go, okay, when I change the stage, right. And then you basically have this option here. So now it brings you to the area here and it kind of walks you through how all of this looks. There's a code editor. You can review your code and then you can track your code and you can actually run it and see any errors. Right. You can see here that there is a, a code wizard here. There's all kinds of things that you can do in this code wizard. 
And I'm not going to go through all of this today, but basically what you can do here is you can actually invoke Zoho's SDK or ZDK or ZDK, whatever you want to call it. And within this ZDK, you can see here they have all kinds of documentation on how to do things, how to grab fields, how to change a blueprint, how to run a button right and so or pop up a button so you can do a lot of stuff in this client script and it's not only limited to just updating data you can actually have pop-ups come up from the top or come up from the right and widgets be invoked or buttons be invoked right so it's a very powerful feature and like i said i can make a separate video with a developer actually doing a sample piece of code here if you'd like but what i wanted to explain today was just what it does how to find it and, and the other piece i'll just mention here is there are static resources so you can actually make resources in javascript that you can call so you can make a, a function basically that you can call in all kinds of client scripts right so the function can be going out and grabbing something from some other software and you can just call that or it can be like a, uh, a widget or, or some type of interface and you can call it so very powerful feature and we're starting to use it more in our business a lot of clients are starting to use it where now you don't have to wait for things to load like as you're working in the crm it's automatically running code as you're loading as you're editing it's a super super powerful feature so yeah that, that's basically client scripts and then basically what you would do is save it and then it would start running on whatever you told it to run on right there's great help articles on it from zoho since this is a more advanced feature i'd recommend you working with a partner like us or, or even zoho they have good internal staff on this if you're a developer yourself they do have documentation in the help article here but i think this is going to become commonplace in the next year or two but for now it's a, it's a, it's a newer feature and it's really really powerful as always please like comment subscribe we love hearing from you uh, and let us know if you want us to make a more developer-centric video on this we'd be happy to do it have a good one Thank you.